Welcome to a brand new week. And this week, we're going to look at some important ideas uh, that affect the way we live our lives and the way we respond to God. So we start with Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. We're going to focus on the called according to his purpose part. We know that all things work together. That's another aspect of it. But God has called us according to his purpose. To experience the fullness of life that God wants us to have, we have to accept and live with the mindset that God has called us and that he has called us according to his purpose. God's calling for us is always a high calling or it's the highest calling. And what do we mean to say something is a high calling? It means that for all the things that draw on our attention, people call you to do uh, something, people call you to do the other thing, uh, maybe there are things you even want to do for yourself or the things your parents want you to do. But above all of those calls, above all of those demands, there is a higher demand that God is placing on our lives. And that is what we call his higher calling. It goes higher than every other thing. And we have to come to that awareness in our beings that there's something God wants us to do that is higher than any other thing we want to do in life. And if we find ourselves in that higher calling of God, we get our highest output, our highest significance, our highest joy. Now, God's high calling for you is also called his perfect will for you. That means that is the perfect fit for you. That's the perfect thing you have to do with your life. So God's high calling for me is not going to be the same as God's higher calling for you. God's higher calling for you may not be the same as his higher calling for your spouse. And the place that God has designated for each one of us is based on what he has called us to do. So if God calls me to do A, he will create a spot called A where I fit in. And only I will fit in that space perfectly. Other people may try it, they may pretend, they may imitate, they may copy, but nobody is going to fit in the place that God has designated for me. That is a mindset we must have, that God has a calling for our lives, and the calling for our lives is according to his purpose. So for us to really live our lives the way we bring significance to ourselves, we must be where God wants us to be. It's a very simple truth, but it's very difficult to obey. Why? Because life is full of imitation. The human being is prone to imitation. We learn by imitation. We learn to speak by imitating people who speak. We learn to walk by imitating people. Much of what we do in life is by imitating somebody else. And there is a value in imitating because if somebody has done something that is right, you can learn from that person and get along. But when it comes to the calling of God, there is no imitation. There is originality. And that's why it's difficult to find ourselves in the calling of God because much of our life we have been programmed to imitate. And we have to pray that God gives us the grace that when it comes to our calling, we will not be imitators but followers of the higher purposes of God. And that also means that we have to be ready. We have to be prepared for where God wants us to be because it will take a lot of change. It will make a lot of demands on us. What God wants you to do for your life may sometimes be uncomfortable for you. But if you follow him and if you yield to him and if you prepare yourself for him, he will take you amazing places and do amazing things with your life. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you have called me according to your purpose. I will be what you want me to be in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.